doing a little bit of a um, mobility stretch strength session today. I'm just on my way to Claudia's house. Just because we've been finding recently that we're both quite injury prone. Claude has got um, some pain in her knee. I've got some pain in my lower legs, like my shins, my tibia. Is it called tibia? Tibia? It's our own fault because we're doing absolutely nothing to help with anything. We're not stretching before or after a run, which is absolutely ridiculous. We're not um, doing any warm downs. We're probably not eating the right food. So I feel like this is our side to take it a little bit more seriously because we do have the half marathon coming up in about five weeks and our full marathon is, a, is around 18 weeks out. Um, so I feel like this is quite a good sign for us to be like, no, we need to take this seriously. We need to stretch. We need to try and do some other movements aside from running to help help keep strong. Um, so yeah, I'm just on my way to Claudia's house. Like I said, we're going to do a little workout, some stretching, and hopefully do a run tomorrow. Oh, where are you going, little lady? Stay. Anyway, so yeah, I'll be at Claudia's in a few minutes. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, take something out of it. I encourage you to do a little bit of um, stretching and strength training too. So yeah, catch you there. Subscribers. We don't know who the number two is. So welcome. welcome. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Part of the family. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're absolutely flabbergasted that you find us interesting. And we've had over 50 views in so long. Yeah. We're making it, guys. Yeah. Um, so I've been injured. We did a pretty much a 13K the other day. Mm -hmm. And we were going, it was like a gradual climb. And then flat and then downhill so it was a really good run wasn't it yeah it was good longest run i've ever done yeah 13k 
but then on as we've done the gradual hills <clears throat> when we were just starting then the flats my knee went it was so painful so it was here right like on my kneecap and um yeah i just ran through it which was stupid we did stop didn't we because i couldn't it was really hurting I was you like, almost didn't want to start oh, no. i had to like force you to stop so if you ever bad. injured stop because it's ridiculous that i didn't yeah can't believe we finished it you were all right though weren't you after yeah the, so it was like the 7k mark yeah leg my leg went at the 7k but we still finished it and um we still did like a, a sprint finish didn't we mm -hmm. yeah so like scary to think that that could happen closer to the marathon and mm -hmm. like something worse for it to be worse than it actually was so i've just been doing some research on it and it's runner's knee which a lot is a very common knee injury in runners basically rest ice elevation stretching my quads are dead tight so i think that's why um my knee went because you have a muscle over your knee which connects to your down here i don't even know these terminologies but i'll i'll learn them <laughs> and your thigh muscle so I think when your thigh's tight, it puts strain over your knee and then that's why it went. You've been saying recently as well that like you're very quad dominant. Yeah, you? yeah. You are feeling it more in your quads. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yeah. And apparently that's why it's important to weight train. It's gone from a nail tech to a physio. Yeah. Fucking five hours. If, if our second subscriber is a physio, I am embarrassed at the information <laughs> I'm given. <laughs> but like, you've not got runner's knee, you break your spine or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, apparently weight training stop uh, like prevents injuries. Prevents Here we from are having injuries. Not weight, not weight training and getting injured. I know, thinking we're bloody superwomen. So going forward, yeah, we've learned our lesson. We're quite lucky because we're still quite far out from the big day marathon. Eighteen weeks. So we've got the half, which is just basically part of the training, to be honest. But mm -hmm. we're doing an, an official oh. run for it. But we've kind of learned the lesson early on, so hopefully, yeah, we can rectify it now yeah. and not stop being so stupid thinking we can run without warming up, without cooling down, without not eating the right things. Yeah. Like I had quality street for my breakfast the other day. <laughs> All right. After the run, that six, 16k, the 13k run, it's funny we both went home and had a cup of tea and some pot noodles and we didn't even know we were doing it <laughs> yeah Paul told me i was like so did i yeah which is absolutely stupid like yeah. why am i having a cup of tea we should be having a pint of water and a yeah, bloody protein pint of water, shake a nice big like fuel up lunch yeah you know lots of carbs protein giving the body what it needs considering it burnt almost nearly a thousand calories yeah so stupid so we're going to start taking this shit more serious mm -hmm. now. We're not just going to drink red wine and chat shit. Yeah. And well, we will hope. be doing that as well. I mean, here we are. But we are going to take it more seriously because we, we want to enjoy it on the day. And we want to do well. We don't just want to, like, turn up injured, not really fueled properly. Like, ideally, we'd like, we want to do it and want to do another one. Not, yeah. Not do it and think. We want to take never. our two subscribers abroad. Yeah, we do. We want to take Kathy and our mystery subscriber <laughs> on holiday <laughs> to watch us do a marathon. If you're both still sticking around, maybe you can come with us. Yeah. <laughs> have it abroad. <laughs> and then this week, we've got to do two 8.1Ks. Yep. And a 10K. Yep. So I'm going to rest... I've been resting my knee anyway mm -hmm. since, and it does feel so much better today. And you've done some stretches, haven't you? Done, yeah, I've been doing already. stretches. Um, and yeah, it feels loads better. So I'll be ready for it. 8.1s this week. Yeah, two 8.1s and then a 10. We are obviously beginners and new to all of this. Yeah. So hopefully by our videos closer to the marathon, we can give you some um value yeah from our videos yeah for anyone rather else than just chatting shit wrong. and not knowing half the stuff we're saying but at least you're on the journey with us kath and mystery man yeah so that's it that's, that's it that. that's yeah. it for tonight we're gonna finish our wine chill yep yeah. and um drink some water ready for tomorrow yep yeah. maybe take you on some runs this week if we do any together yeah because we have got a cup of the diary. We're going to do definitely do the 10 and one of the 8s together. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see you next time. Next time. Woo! Woo! <laughs>
Hi, we're just walking up a steep hill, about to do our last run of the week, which is 10k. We've done two 8.1s this week and a workout yep. and some stretching, haven't we? Yep. So we're warming our legs up. Yep. Going up a hill, ready to bomb it. Going to get on the canal. We've got five weeks today until the half. The half marathon. Woo! Just come around really quick. Yeah. See you at the end. See ya. Bitches. Bye. our 10k smashed it <laughs> laughing it was with my coffee <laughs> hi welcome <laughs> um yeah it was a good run we, yeah it was a mix of uphill downhill flat yeah really good mix both felt like we had more in the tank which is good and we've been practicing keeping our pace steady yeah instead of sprinting at the start <clears throat> i am um, we did something called plot a route which is like a website where you can draw out your route and it'll tell you how far the distance is but when I did it, I thought it's going to be brutal. It was quite like a few like steep hills, but it wasn't. It felt no, okay, it was didn't fine. it? fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Really good. Yeah, so that was a good run. Good end to the week. Um, yeah, it's definitely helped stretching. Yes. Yeah, it definitely before, has. Because we've only just started doing that this week. This we? week, yeah, we've been stretching before the runs. Mm -hmm. We've done one like beginners workout. Yeah, I've been stretching on my rest days as well. Yeah, I've been eating a bit more. Yeah. I've eaten eat quite better. a lot of, actually quite a lot of crap this weekend, but I feel like I've taken the right amount, like a good amount of calories to like fuel me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pizza, takeaway. Yeah, I've drank loads of wine, standard. Must fuel me, that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, we've got ourselves a little coffee to walk home with. Um, and then this week, what are we doing this week? Um, this week, mm -hmm. we're doing 8.1, 8.1, 14.5. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> we've also got three subscribers yes hello hey, number three. welcome <laughs> it's great to have you here cheers to you <laughs> yeah we're buzzing thank, thank you our three i know kathy jackson and our two mystery subscribers i know they're here <laughs> um so yeah we've got five weeks until i don't know if we've said this already but we've got five weeks until the half marathon yeah so it's just time to like obviously it's coming up to christmas so i'm hoping that will work in our favor Loads of food, a few nights out. Though. <laughs> I know, a bit more alcohol than normal. Mm. I say than normal, but yeah, it's probably good if we drink a lot. <laughs> it's fine. We're planning our runs around the night out so we don't run the day after and stuff. Um, and also, we well, I'm gonna plan to not drink in January. Yeah, <clears throat> I've got absolutely nothing on in January, yeah. so I could definitely not drink. I don't really drink that much anyway, but so yeah. That's what's done for the week. Yeah, three runs, a workout, lots of stretching, a lot more eating. Um, so yeah, a lot more chat and shit. Yeah, a lot more chat and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, <laughs> bitches. <laughs>